Are you someone who dreams to live a big dream in cities? Are you a woman with a lot of business ideas but not able to start? Are you a woman who doesn't know how to face the society if you fail when it comes to business? If you are someone in any of this, you have to watch this video because I'm going to tell you one of the most incredible stories that have happened in the history of India when it comes to women employment, built a business and how they succeeded in it. I'm Varsha Renu Kumar. Welcome to the Freedom Business English channel. Do not forget to subscribe and download our app. How seven ordinary women with no educational qualification started off with just rupees 80 in the initial stage of capital and then built an empire which crossed over 69 places that they located in and also employed 42,000 women everywhere. This story actually takes us back to 1950s. India had actually just got independence and was still under development. That was an era in which the education for women was still under progress and literacy was actually luxury. Back there, there were only few women who could actually achieve what they wanted to achieve. Yet still, there was this set of women who went ahead and still built their business. There were hardly times where women used to come out of the house back then. So nobody knew what business can a woman start and what business can a woman do without stepping out of the house. So that's when one woman came up with this idea of starting Sri Mahila Gar Udyog Lajit Papad. So this was one of the company which started with seven ordinary women without any qualification but grew to the level of present Starbucks and Apple. When I say the story of seven women who did not have the ambition or a goal to just go ahead and build a business empire and make profit for themselves, this was a dream to make sure that any women out there who have the passion to earn their own living to join this particular company and start along by their side. The story of women's struggle actually happened to see the light of the day. So what happens is that these women sit in the home and then make papads and then go out there and sell. They started this at home and everyone started making this day and night. They had a particular time and made sure that no matter what, they are going to build this business by determination. So what's so unique about this papad company and what is that one thing that stands out of the box when it comes to these seven women and how did they survive for 62 years by just 80 rupees as their capital back in history. So back then, 70% of the Indian population was below the poverty line. And it was a hard living back then because people hardly could afford food. So that's when in Mumbai, seven different women came up with this idea of not stepping out of the house, but building this business with a vision and goal of making sure every woman who joins them is employed. This doesn't need an educational qualification, but just rare talent of women Indian women especially of cooking. And this is how Lijit Papad was actually born by just 80 rupees given by a social worker. So initially, these people actually happened to sell this particular product in the local stores. Over time, this particular Papad's taste and quality was so good that they improved and improved over the years. Their product happened to sell in bulk and everyone around the country started prioritizing this product and making sure that anywhere the papad business is happening prefers Lijat papad. Initially, it started off with local stores as I told, but then later when they scaled up, they had their first board meeting of telling that our primary goal and vision is not to make profit, but to make sure that every woman has their own power to sustain in the Indian society, as well as made sure that each and every woman is empowered by making themselves strong in the business way and not feel like they're not doing anything in life. They wanted to provide jobs to these young women just to make sure that they have a wise full living and make sure that whatever they're earning is happening in a good way. They had to open branches and each branches had a head as a woman. So the best moral that they happened to come across was one most important thing that the money that they earn would only scale up and used for the business but not for the sole existence of the business. So this is one difference that we have to understand when we think about our business as well. Money has to just scale your business and market and then sell your product but not the sole purpose of its existence. So a business should exist there because of the product but not because of the money that you're getting in. Over time, if you solely 
think about the money, the product is going to lose its value and the business is not going to sustain for a longer time. So make sure that whatever business you start has the value for whatever innovation or creation that you have done towards your product but not money as the priority. So moving on to the best part of the entire company was that this particular company made sure that every woman has been given opportunities like Lajit Behan and every woman is made the owner of the branch rather than the employee. They started treating everyone as sisters and made sure that this company runs as the owner and and not as employees. So regardless of age, caste and religion, they made sure that even if you are in the lowest hierarchy of the company, you were still involved in the business. So back then, one thing that we can understand from the history and now is that when we talk about Lajit Papad, they did not just make this as a business or an attribute option when it comes to making each of them the owner rather than the employees. At present time, you can even take the example of Starbucks, which made sure each and every employee is a part of business rather than their employees. So when we talk about Starbucks, at the present world, we have a lot of MBA education, we have a lot of schools, colleges which teach us to do this. And as we know, back then, Lajit Papad history has an entire different story by telling that they didn't have any sort of education. Back then, our women made sure that they follow the exact thing what Starbucks is actually following today. We took a step ahead back then only and made sure that whatever we are doing and understanding in the history is still taken today. So when we talk about history, there are so many things that we wouldn't have heard or focused on. But so many things have actually happened in the history which are not noted down in the books. So the best part of past is that we get to learn so many things that we should repeat as a lesson and make sure not to make the mistakes which have happened in the past. This was the story of Lajit Papad which actually made sure this organization sticks to their goal rather than the priority of money. They made sure that they gave opportunities to women back in the 1950s itself. So the key takeaways that we can understand by the entire fact is that where there is a will, there is a way. These people started without an education qualification, without the experience when it comes to business, yet still they succeeded was only because of the morals that they carry till the end. So one thing that I would like to tell you guys is that whenever you feel stuck, make sure that you give yourself some time because every time you keep your mind calm and think, you're always going to find some solution. Hoping that this story has helped you guys. Do not forget to like, share and comment. Also download our Freedom app because it's got many more courses which have been also made by the women entrepreneurs and you can understand the challenges and the acceptance in their life and also make sure that you've been encouraged for this. Thank you so much. Get wise and break free.